Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, then lovely. Thanks for watching and thanks for coming back for more. I hope you enjoy these videos. I enjoy making them. It's just a hobby, really, but um, it's good fun. So, and I've learned loads of new skills as well. So at my age, I think that can only be a good thing. So uh, today I thought I'd have a little chat and uh, talk about what I've been up to. And um, and then I've got some sale items from John Lewis. So I thought I'd just shop for sale and see um, what I could get hold of and then give you some tips if you want to have a look at what they've got online. Uh, it's a very good sale as usual. So I'll... I'll do the video, I'll do the try-ons, and then I will um, have a little chat about uh, life in general. Thanks for joining, and uh, I'll crack on with that. This is the first dress. It's monsoon. It's really nice, actually. It's a very, very heavy denim. Properly, real heavyweight. I mean, it's kind of winter weight, really, but it's got this lovely embroidery detail around here and up the neck, and three quarter length sleeves, which have got a button and pockets. It's, it's a good fit. It's quite high waisted, although I've got a very long body, but I think it's supposed to be high waisted. It's quite flattering. Um, this one is thirty seven fifty half price. This is size eighteen which is my size, so it's uh, true to size, I'd say. It's comfortable. I think it's really nice. Um, I just think it's quite a heavy weight for a summer dress, but then we get a lot of time in our summers that aren't actually that warm, don't we? So, I don't know. I think it's nice. Um, as I say, oh, and the other thing I should mention is that the buttons so fiddly they've just got these little rouleau loops um, with the placket behind and um, there's no stretch on those so it's really fiddly on to get on and off there's no zip or anything so it is just a complete um, all the way down to just past my knee but yeah it's a very nice dress hope you like it so this is a Bojan dress. I would say this is more of a chambray fabric. It's still relatively heavyweight and it's got these elasticated cuffs and it's full length. It's got the tiered design and this kind of high cross frill around the edge. It's spun through to the waist. Um, it's got plenty of fabric in it, but it's not very flattering. It's it's maxi actually on me. As I said before, I'm five foot six. And this one is sixty pounds from one hundred and twenty pounds, which is a good deduction. But I don't know if it's because of where that comes, but it doesn't do anything for me. Um, but you know, it's a good option dress actually. Quite nice with them. Um, and a tan colour boots. It's pure cotton. It's nice quality, nicely made. Um, I don't think that neck's particularly flattering. I mean, as soon as you can see some chest there, I think it's more flattering. Um, yeah, so it's not for me, but uh, might might suit somebody else with a smaller bust on a thirty six. For fur, for fur, fur. Um, double F. Uh, so yeah, I won't be keeping this one for sure, but uh, it's a nice dress and it's nicely made, good quality. I just thought I'd try on some higher value things sometimes. Well, it's good to have a few high quality items. And I think this wouldn't date really, although in a way, <laughs> I'd say this has kind of been going around since uh, Little House on the Prairie days, showing my age. So that's number two. This one is dress number three. This is a monsoon dress, navy background, with these little white and tan and black flowers, the black stem. Um, it's got these rouleau 
loop button fastenings again. And that's all the way down to past my knee. I think this is a viscose. So it's, it's a nice quality. Again, elasticated edges, um, cuffs. No pockets on this one. It's quite nice. particularly it's it's good for size this one was um 37.50 from 75 so it's a good good price um as you can see it's quite creased up it's just come out of the packaging but i don't think it would crease particularly badly if uh if you're wearing it because like i say it's a nice i don't know if you can catch that it's a nice quality um plenty of room comfortable but again, those Rulo loops, I mean, I didn't have to undo any more to get it on, but, um, and they are elasticated. But they're such a clever one. Oh, there we are, that one's open. So I think um, if you've got big boobs, it's it's quite good to have a little bit of uh, cleavage, as I like to call it. So yeah, that's, that's dress number three. This one is number four. This is a zebra print in a kind of a very strong cream colour almost looks yellowy green uh, zebra print they call this this is uh, viscose it's a very nice quality um, it's buttoned through with a collar it's got this elastic here which is quite kind of strong elastic and it's falling in the wrong place for me because it's too close to my boobs and it's just sitting above my tummy it's got a handkerchief pen, and this one was 39 I think, that was half price, so it must be 78. So it's a nice dress, but it's not for me, I say that elastic is just a bit too high for me, and it's just sitting on my tummy there, and it's not particularly doing anything for me. Although I love the fabric, I love the print, and you can see it's got the handkerchief pen, which could be quite flattering. It'd be nice with heels, actually, I think, with some, maybe some black wedges. You could dress this right up with a little black jacket. Um, yeah, it's a nice dress. I say the elastic is just not working for me personally. Um, it's funny, really, because the first one had that um, embroidered bit just there. But it just kind of sat, whereas this is kind of rising up, I think, because it is elasticated. And again, no pockets, which I think when you pay maybe £80 for a dress, I could put pockets in. So that's number, I think that's number four. This is number five. This is a viscose dress, 100% viscose. It's got a button sleeve, nice detail. See this detail here. And then it goes, it's kind of fitted and then it's onto a puff sleeve. But this dress is £71 in the sale, so it's over £140 right in the sale. It's got pockets, it's see through, you can see I've got an orange bra on. This comes in the wrong place for me. Um, I'd say it's nice, but I wouldn't say it's £140 worth. Gee, it's kind of mid calf, it's got um, two tiers. Oh no, one one tier. So it's it's fitted, then to here, and then a tier. It's it's a lovely print, I think, but it's it you know I, I honestly just don't think it's worth that that amount of money. It's um it's sticking onto my pants at the back there, so I'd probably have to wear a slip with it. So yeah, I mean. You know, it looked different on somebody with a smaller chest for sure. That line is, is kind of just not actually under my bust, even if I hold them up a bit, it's not going to be under my bust. But um, it's a nice dress, but not for me. So, this is the final dress, and it's absolutely beautiful. I put heels with it because it's such a dressy dress. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't want to wear black heels with it, but the detail on this dress. Look at how lovely this is. All this embroidery, it's got sequins, it's got these kind of double tiered sleeves, it's got a lovely back on it. Um, oh, 
obviously you'd have to you know choose the correct underwear and stuff but i love the way that it's got the the lining here but no straps so with a nude bra i just think it's absolutely gorgeous this one was um 70 pounds too so this was reduced for 140 but i can see why this is a really beautiful dress i mean you could get married in this dress you could be a bridesmaid in this dress you could go to a wedding in this dress anything um which would be I, I just think it's absolutely lovely it's a beautiful shade of pink it's not too pale the sleeves are long but you know you're not going to be doing the washing up wearing a dress like this it's i think it's just absolutely beautiful and if I had anywhere to wear it, I would buy it in a shot. A friend of mine's going to Glyndebourne, and if I was going to Glyndebourne, I'd buy this dress. I think it's really lovely. And it's a classic, so it won't um, date. It's fully lined. Yeah, I think it's a lovely dress. Really, really lovely. Can you tell I think it's a lovely dress? Yeah. If I had any reason, I would buy this dress. Do you know, is it washable? Let's see. No, it's dry clean only, but you can understand that. It's very delicate. I mean, you probably could wash it, to be fair. This is polyester, but uh, you'd have to be ever so careful. But, you know... With that um, spray I told you about, you could get a couple of wears out of it for sure. So yeah, that's the last of the dresses. I've just got one pair of shoes to show you, and then I'll just talk about John Miller's sale in general. So that's all the dresses that I bought um, to try on from John Lewis. Varying, you know, from, obviously they're all high end, but we're talking John Lewis here. We're not talking Primark, so. We're going to be looking at investment pieces, really. Things, if you really like them and you're going to wear them year on year, um, then it's probably worth splashing out. So the final thing I've got to show you is these trainers, uh, which I thought were rather nice. These are 34 50 So they were, again, half price or 34 I can't remember, but I'll put a link on. And they're all leather, very comfortable. They've got a leather lining, nice padded heel there. And they've got orange blue. Um, a kind of uh, aubergine colour here. So, yeah, so that was the, well, I bought a couple of t-shirts for, for gifts for people, but um, that was the shoes. So I just wanted to talk about how I shop for sale. Obviously, everybody's got their own way of doing things. I realise that. But um, what I do, so... It just so happened I looked at the John Lewis site and the sale had just been launched. So it had actually hadn't been published at that point. So there were some, still some good bargains there. So what I usually do is I open up, so I'd go into women, go into dresses, for example, and I would sort by... Um, discount so the highest discount goes to the top so that's where you get the real bargains then i sort on size um and then i go through and i don't hide out of stock items and i'll tell you why because oftentimes supposing a couple of those dresses were monsoon and i if i really like the look of them often they would be the same price on the monsoon website so i'd go and have a look there or i would just do a generic search on on google because other other um retailers stock monsoon as well so that's kind of a little tip is is don't hide on the out of stock and if i really got the time the energy the inclination i don't even filter by size i just i just go in and look for the same reason because um there might be something that they haven't got in your size at all and um or in any you know any size in fact but it's still on the on the site just out of stock and you can find it maybe somewhere else so and then the other way i filter is i filter on lowest price first and if in my head i think look, i'm not spending more than 50 pounds on a dress 40 pounds on a dress i've got no reason to 
then I do lowest price first and I just look until it hits that that line and then I won't look any further. So I think, well, you know, you're not really in the market for a dress. You're just being tempted by the bargains. Um, and often then as well, I mean, this is all the time consuming. So, you know, but I'll sit in front of the TV doing it. I'll have a cup of tea while I'm doing it. It's, it's kind of like a hobby, I suppose, really. I will... Um, I will, if I buy something and um, I haven't worn it, I'll just keep checking in case it, it gets reduced further, which it often does. And then I will take back the first one, send it back. I usually get all of mine delivered to Waitrose and then just pick them up from there, take them back to there, whatever. So, um, yeah, so that's just how I shop the sale. And uh, I just keep an eye on things and make sure that uh, I'm getting the best possible price, really. And like I say, that monsoon dress, I'm sure they'd have that uh, probably on the monsoon site and maybe in different colours and whatever, but it was a really beautiful dress, just perfect for um, a wedding or a, a special occasion of any description, really. So I hope you enjoyed those items. And then I just thought I'd have a little chat about my weekend. I had a really busy weekend, as I told you. I had um, an absolute house full of visitors and overnight guests, including, you know, a bedroom being emptied and new people well, I say new people these are family um staying over so you know all that turnaround menu planning everything else so that all went really well um yeah we were lucky with the weather it's it stayed nice oh and then our big purchase I don't, I don't I'm pretty sure I haven't mentioned so when Rob went into hospital as you know if you've seen my other um videos you'll know that um uh, my husband was, well, he had a heart attack, so he was in hospital for a few days. And uh, the grass was just growing like topsy. And um, so while he was there, I, I don't know if I've told you this anyway. You can just, just finish the video if I'm rambling on. So to cut a long story short, we bought a robot lawnmower. And it is brilliant, honestly. It's so good. Rob's had to layer a wire down the perimeter of the lawn and we've got a few flower beds and things which made probably our lawn a bit more complicated than some people's but that's what guides Matilda Matilda the mower as we call her and um she's got a name and everything I think I have told you this anyway never mind and so that's great and basically it cuts it off just really short and then the cuttings because it comes out every day just uh, comes out and uh, those little cuttings go back into the grass and um, the nitrogen from those feeds the, feeds the grass. So it's a win-win really. And uh, yeah, so that, that's been a really good purchase. You know, you always wonder with these machines whether, whether they can do the job, but Rob's really happy with it. And at the end of the day, that's one less thing for him to worry about. So that was good. Atty, my granddaughter, loved the um, T-shirts that I made her with the sayings from Mary Poppins on. Oh, and on Monday, I went to Chewton Glen. My daughter, Grace, very kindly bought me um, a joint Mother's Day and birthday gift of a Twilight Spa evening at Chewton Glen. And myself and Katie and Grace, both my daughters, went to Chewton Glen on Monday and it was absolutely lovely. Um, it's 40 minutes from us, so it's a fair, fair journey, but uh, it was worth it. It was really beautiful. The service was excellent. And afterwards we ate in James Martin's restaurant there called The Kitchen. And to be honest, it, it wasn't cheap, obviously, but it wasn't ridiculously priced. And we, we didn't have starter or a dessert. We just had our main and uh, thoroughly enjoyed that. And also I went to see the Elvis film on Monday and I'm a huge Elvis fan. I've loved him since I was a little girl. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a long film. I think it's two and a half hours. So I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you didn't like Elvis or if you weren't that interested in the story. I think it's a long film. I mean, I even dozed off a couple of times, but then I was exhausted from the weekend. But I love Elvis and the whole story was a tragedy and it actually makes me really sad that he died like that. He was only 42 
um, I remember exactly where I was when I heard the news. All my family were worried because I was driving the car and they knew I was a huge Elvis fan and um, they were worried how I'd react. Um, I, I was on the Hangar Lane gyrotary system in my little VW Fiesel driving home from, from seeing Rob of an evening. So, um, yeah, long time ago. But anyway, so that was that, was that really. Um, yeah, so I don't think I've got anything else to add right now. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. It was, as I say, at the higher end, but, you know, sometimes it's good to, to look at everything, really. And we should all have more good quality clothes and, and not loads of cheap stuff that, you know, we keep buying more of. And um, if you like the videos, don't forget to subscribe. Hello, Mary Jo. And uh, if you ring the bell on, on YouTube, um, you'll get notified of my next video. So thanks for watching. Bye.